Have you missed us? We're back. Kind yeah. of, sort of. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> right? So we wanted to come back and uh, intro this video by telling you that we are still alive and well and married and chartering. Still, still have a boat, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we appreciate everybody that's been reaching out to us uh, by email, text, uh, Instagram, Facebook, you know, thanks so much. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to know that people are out there and that you do actually watch us. Um, problem is, this little thing called life has been happening, and uh, as you know, and I hope everybody out there, I uh, hope your families are doing well and everything, um, but we just haven't had the time to be able to put out videos as well as everything else that we've had to been doing here recently, and it, it's just life. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing horrible. It's just, just life. Yeah. But... We don't want to put out a bunch. We're, we're not going to be ever probably consistent on a weekly basis to putting out videos. We, A, don't have the content, the motivation. And it's time. not a money stream. Time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There. So bear with us. We will still put out videos if the content um, and time allow. So We don't make any money off of these things. Um, I know everybody likes to think people on YouTube, ah, oh, they're making a kill. No, we don't make a dime. I mean... Honestly, I don't think I've, we've seen a payment from YouTube in a year. So, yeah. and if we did, it was probably $11 or something like that. So, we, have we, a few, we do appreciate our patrons, yeah, though. So we have a few patrons, and we don't, you know, obviously we only charge them when we put out videos. So, um, we do, we do really appreciate them and you sticking with us and um, staying patrons, even though we're not putting anything out. But thank you and cheers to you. For that. Yeah. Our next video uh, coming out is basically what's been going on since March. Um, just some quick clips of everything and then the video after that uh, we went to the Ab we just got back literally like a couple days ago from the Abacos and we want to give you guys a first look at how the Abacos and all the out islands that we actually got to hit and visit uh, are doing. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to like it and subscribe and watch the video. See you next time. This current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime. And at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there in Boatland. We're here at the Leopard Catamaran Boat Show here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for some little fun and to check out some new boats. So come, come with us and let's go see what kind of cool stuff is out there for 2021. Let's go. While Randy may have been a bit overzealous uh, calling it a boat show, it was Leopard's way of uh, reaching out and showing people their new line for 2021. We were primarily there to see the Leopard Powercat 53. <clears throat> It's a gorgeous boat. It's got so much space, so much room on board. This particular model is the three cabin, better known as the owner's suite. Um, this is one of the guest rooms. Uh, I believe this is port aft. Um, but one of my favorite features about this boat is the size of the restrooms or the heads with the showers. Uh, on this side of the boat, there is a washer and dryer. I love these large uh, showers that are in here. Just absolutely amazing. I know you. <laughs> and what my wife is frantically trying to point out with her face diaper on is this uh, full-size refrigerator. Let's try it out for size. Ah, I can't even reach the top shelf. That's first world problems. Look at that. Hey, look, Randy, they left your red stripe no in here. No Jenga required. No fridge Jenga. So what, what are you looking for? He was looking for the shoulders. So would that be the Raymarine? Yeah. Nice. Now this is the master suite. This is just absolutely amazing, having an entire hall to yourself. You've got your own sitting room, your closets, your drawers bathroom which is a dual sink and then on into the 
head where this shower is absolutely amazing. Heck, it could fit you and three of your closest friends, but it's not that kind of cruise. Now on to the engine room, one of my favorites. This thing is large enough to be a room in itself. I love it. With twin 370 horsepower Yammies, this thing will cruise at 17 knots. Now wouldn't that be a nice change of pace? It really is a gorgeous boat. We are kicking off March Madness here on the Space Between and it is maddening. Um, let's see, we had a charter cancel or postpone last minute. So when we get down there, we have a um, week that we're supposed to be on charter or four days and now we are trying to fill it. And um, the charter that was is happening today was supposed to leave from the dock in Fort Lauderdale. And as you can tell by the seas behind me, um, it was a little rough. So we are, well, this is the port, so it's gonna be even rougher. We are uh, all cleaned up and ready to go, but now we are heading down to Miami to pick guests up from there instead. So we're gonna take the meeting for them and uh, start the trip from down there. Continue our, continue our journey south and uh, drop them off in Isla Mirada Tavernier area and continue south to Key West where we will spend the next two months um, on charter there. Well, it's three days later and we've had a super uh, eventful charter <laughs> starting with the was it the first time we went to start it up with them? Maybe the second. Second time we started the engine. Let's go with that. Um, port side problems. Port engine would not start. So we deduced it down to the starter. Of course it was a Saturday. So um, we do not at carry at this point an extra starter on board. But now we will. Um, so we had a terrific guy in... Key Largo um, had an emergency number and found one in Fort Lauderdale, went and got it, brought it to us in Key Largo and um, our Tavernier actually and hooked us up. So now it is Monday morning. We have anchored a few times on one engine. Has not been fun, but we've done it. So the captain is just installing the brand new starter thanks to Complete Diesel, I believe the name is. I will get that right, show it up here on the screen. And thank you to them. We are now headed south to Key West to get there by St. Patrick's Day. So they can shut it down. <laughs> They're not shutting it down on us again. Never know with those Democrats. Oh, let's not get political. All right, cross your fingers. Yes! That is a good sign. Wow. Yay, we have two engines. Good, look yeah, at him. That works. He kind of looks like a, a Sith. He's got a Sith uniform. Uh, we can put a snap on, on here to keep it on. Oh, we could do a snap. No, we got, we got oh, snap machine. Oh, brought a snap here. machine. Oh, oh shit. shit. She comes with her own snap machine, kids. Like we're going to have to hem it on, on the, I'm not on the sure floor. All right, everybody show me your shirt. It is St. Patrick's Day. But we're still trying Cindy to figure out all shirts. who sent me the lizard shirt. Oh, did you send him the iguana shirt? Uh-uh. No, I didn't. I'm not sure what a pineapple has to do with St. Patrick's Day. I don't know either. It's the only green thing I have. Hey, Cindy, right. show me your boobs. <laughs> Cheers, bitches. And they got to see the back of us. Right here, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. All right, so it's showing off my age, but there we go. So we are all festive and ready to go. Now we're trying to get our- uh... This beats the shit out of last year. Right? Oh, when they close. Hey, they don't say that because down. Kurt and Teresa and John are gonna be watching. So it was memories made last year, but definitely busier this year. My parents were here when it got closed down. Mm -hmm. You were here when it got closed yeah. down. So Terry and Cindy, introduced us to Billy who has Drew along with him and we went to Scotty's 
yeah. the, the new uh, place on Front Street, which was fun. They were playing there and were fantastic. And I actually posted one of their videos on my Instagram yesterday because they were nice enough to play me Crash by Dave Matthews. So, score for that one. And uh, actually, you sat. Did you play? I sat that one out. I was gonna say. I think you well, sat back. Well, got the but but the but yeah. <laughs> so, um, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, Wait. So. Sorry. Yep. I don't want to edit this out. Yeah. Uh, so my name is Billy Ruger, and I'm from Fairfield, Connecticut. And I came down here in December to uh, to actually play gigs because everything shut down up north. And uh, been here for yeah, like four months now. It's and been he, great. And he's going back to Connecticut. Go back to Connecticut in May. Yeah. In May. Oh, okay, so you're here till May. Yes. Oh, good. You're the one that's leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, unless you talked to him last um, night. Last night he was last night I was ready to miss the flight. Yes, yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> I still might miss the flight, depending on how I'm feeling later. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm I'm Drew Angus uh, at Drew Angus Music on all the all the social media channels and whatnot. Uh, you gotta spell your last name because it's not A N G U S, like the steak. Why was there like a? I want to say there was a Wang in something. Was that on your thing? You know, no. some people call me Doctor E, Doctor oh. E Wangus. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Wayne. <laughs> that is actually how I read it the other day. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a freaking blonde. Okay, I'm so sorry. Right? Wow. Okay. Well, the way it was written, I'm like, Wang. He doesn't look like a Wang. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, with a break in the charters for a hot minute, we drove up to Punta Gorda because one of our favorite performers up there, Mr. Rob Benton, was playing. And we decided to go crash in. We had so much fun with Rob Benton last night that, well, we were going to do this anyway. But our friends booked him for their backyard party. And uh, we came up to Apopka to see him play again. So in the last week, we've been from Key West to Sebring. Sebring to Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda back to Sebring. Sebring to Apopka. Tomorrow we go from Apopka to Gainesville to see our son for his birthday. Then we go Gainesville, back to Sebring, then Sebring back to Key West. All within one week. <laughs> anyway, started with a Dave Matthews song, that's all my thing. Then he rolled it into another Dave Matthews song, and then he rolled it into the space between. And then he rolled it into yet another. And so I'm like, I'm beginning to think he might be playing the entire concert for us because I'm pretty sure that we might be the only Dave Matthews fans here. But thank you, Rob, because yes. So we have made it back to Key West after a long weekend of jumping from place to place. And now we have T minus two days till charter. And a leak in the toilet. <laughs> um, yeah, so here goes another, I don't know what I'm trying to say, an intro to another video or a outro to an existing video. You have to make videos to have videos. Well, this is a true statement. <laughs>